Hi guys, my name is James, um, also known as Mars Lumo, and I'm going to show you guys search en engine optimization today. How to um, look for keywords um, that you will inject into your website that will improve the traffic to your website for uh, your per particular product or niche audience. So, um, first I have to explain that it's incredibly imperative that you know um, your audience and um, know your who you're um, who you're supposed to be putting your work out in front of as an artist. So, um, if you do abstract art and you're you're putting your stuff out in front of people that are um, I don't know interested in fan art, for instance, chances are um, they're not going to be looking for your art they're looking for fan art right so it's imperative that you know these things and who your target audience is for your products and um anyhow i'm going to show you guys exactly how to optimize um and look for keywords for your website so uh the first thing i do for myself um for myself i make primarily make abstract art, cubist, like cubist style of art. And so, um, I, I know that my audience is people that enjoy weird art, weird colorful art, um, abstract art, cubist art. And so, um, I'll show you how I find keywords on Google to inject into my website. Um, that will improve the traffic. So, if you open up Google and you type in any keyword, uh, say for instance, you are an abstract artist like me, I will type in the keyword abstract art in Google and it'll start giving me all these phrases that people looking for abstract art or interested in abstract art, it'll start giving me these this list of words, keywords, that people are actively searching for. Now, what I will do is I will bring up Notepad and I will type out all these keywords. I'm not the quickest typer. So it's giving me all these long tail keywords, as you can see, and I am just typing them out in Notepad um, because these are what Google suggests. Google suggests will give you what people are searching for uh, the most. These keywords: abstract art paintings, abstract art prints. abstract art meeting abstract art for sale abstract art examples now if I click on that keyword abstract art and do the search for it I scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page you'll notice there's other uh, related searches. So here we will actually compare these abstract art ideas, these other ones, to what we already have. So we already have abstract art ideas. Uh, abstract art drawing is a new one. Abstract art uh, wallpaper.
And then we have these other related searches down here at the very bottom. Famous abstract art. Abstract art face. I think we already have abstract art prints. Um, abstract art for kids. Let's see. Nope, we don't have that one. And abstract art examples. Now, since I got through that list, it's kind of a generic list of keywords, right? Um, and chances are somebody that's searching for abstract art is going to just be searching for such a broad generalized term. So what I do usually is I, um, I categorize my art in such a way um, that um, gives me a more niche audience. For instance, I make art, I, my art is sort of based around Picasso. So let's type in Picasso. And now I'm getting all these other keywords that I can focus in on. So now I have a whole new list of, of keywords that is essentially um, taking the broad uh, idea of abstract art and I'm getting more specific with my keywords. Um, now I'm not going to use all of these, um, let's see, Picasso abstract art pieces I will use. But I'm going to click again on Picasso's name and search and I'm going to scroll back down to the bottom. Um, Picasso Cubism would be a good one. And now I can do this too for other things. I can even go up to Cubist Art. And type all those in. Now these are all the specific terms that are um, related to my art, the characteristics of my art, and so I am dialing in on these keywords to um, um, from Google suggest suggest and using them to inject into my website. Um, let's see, George Condo would be a good one for my art.
um, what would be other keywords? So I could go and I could, um, my, my art, I think, tends to have an urban sort of, sort of appear, uh, appearance, an urban art aesthetic. So I will go into urban art. Let's see how that does, and uh, Google suggests, see, black urban art. So now I have all these um, keywords, Banksy art, that would be a good one. Now you can even use these keywords when you're using them for um, like your Etsy listings. And it will improve um, the traffic that you get into your Etsy by using these keywords. And as long as you keep it under, I believe, 20 characters, um, a lot of these you will be able to use. And now I'll just save my list. And now I have a list of keywords that I can use for content, building content on my website. So anytime, anytime I make a blog post, for instance, or anytime I write a, um, a or post something uh, related to it, say for instance, I have a product that I wouldn't put it out in front of people, I will search for for that particular product and see all the important keywords that people are uh, looking up on Google to find that particular product. So this is how you could do it guys. This is how you look for um, keywords for your website to uh, optimize for Google.